Oh, Mmm, now that's a good pickle. Oh, hello, Internet. It's your old beard buddy, Jed Whittaker, and I'm, I'm back, apparently. I'm back online. I'm back on the net. Here I am. And I'm just here uh, getting ready to play some Metal Gear Survive. You know, it's 2.20. The game released today. I got a review copy last week from Konami, because I review games still on cgmagonline.com. Uh, but uh, I don't know why they sent out these review codes, because the game isn't live at all. Until uh, the trippers are live. So why send out early code? I guess so. If I'm on my dial-up connection, I can get it downloaded by the time the game releases. So, I've downloaded it. It's now 1.33 a.m. And I uh, can't play the game. But it was available for purchase physically and digitally, digitally right now. But, uh... What? But as you can see, it says, unable to start game, start the game, an update is required. Well, if you have a look-see, Lou, when the game first launched at midnight, there was no update. As you can see, there was an update installed 17 minutes ago for over 3 gigabytes, and the game still won't allow you to connect and play. So, in case you're unaware, Metal Gear Survive is always online. You need a constant internet connection to play. The single player or the co-op missions. Also, uh, there's a bunch of microtransactions you can buy for the game right now. Because of course there are. You can see here, let's take a look, look see Lou with those. Uh, let's have a look see. It's my new catchphrase, let's have a look see. The in-game currency may be used to increase the productivity of exploration teams, increase food production, and boost other features in the game. You know, you can pay to win, pay to have better stats, pay to play faster. And if, and uh, I don't give a shit if it's a $40 game in America, it's still, oh, I just don't like microtransactions, especially that kind that are, seem to be made for free to play kind of games, where it's like, what's more important to you, your time or grinding? And then you have to decide, if, if you don't want to pay money, you have to decide, do you enjoy this grind, or do you hate it? And if you hate it, why play the game? Don't give money where you don't want to. Don't be tricked into it. So anyways, um, I'm going to play, I wanted to stream this game tonight and play it, but I guess my plans have been cancelled, and here we are. Shit. Classic Konami, trademark Jed Whittaker 2018. You'll all see my review for this as soon as I can play and get a review done. Whenever that goes. Whenever that happens. Whenever Konami and gets their uh, act together. And by the way, before anyone goes, well, it's, it's on PlayStation. PlayStation does the patches and PlayStation this and PlayStation that. Konami has been a game company for... Since I was little, at the very least, since the NES. So they're not an, a new company. They understand how business works, or at least they should. So you can't blame anyone in this scenario, in my eyes, other than Konami, for the current situation. Which, if you're watching this after 1.36 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, I want you to know it may have been resolved already, but... uh. This is the current state of affairs. Uh, maybe don't buy this until you're sure that it's up and working. Or maybe wait for reviews. I like the beta alright, but I have no idea what the single player's like. Guess I'll find out eventually. <laughs> 